Charles here of Hooked for Life Fly Fishing. And today I want to give you my first impressions of fishing the G Loomis NRX Plus 11 foot 8 weight switch rod. Now, uh, I got this rod quite some time ago, but because of COVID and weather and everything else, I haven't really had a chance to fish it. So it's been sitting downstairs waiting for an opportunity. And the river's been high and dirty a lot. So I took it out uh, to get my baptism of fire with the rod. Uh, in some pretty miserable conditions. And I've got some cast I'm going to put up in a couple of minutes so you can get a chance to see what this rod did. Now, the, there's some things about the rod which really impressed me and I, I've gone through an awful lot of switch rods over the years between demo rods and rods that I've owned of my own and customers rods that I've cast. And without question this is within the top one or two or three uh, of rods in terms of distance. In fact, about the only one that gets close to it was I think a 11 foot uh, GLX um, 7 weight and my uh, Pro 4X uh, 11 and a half foot 9 weight. Uh, they were the only ones that were in the same ballpark and, I, and I'm pretty sure this NRX goes further. I mean, I was in far less than ideal conditions. I was up to my waist in dirty water Casting uh, uh, Airflow uh, Skagit Scout uh, 480 with a 10 foot sink tip on the end of it, a high drag fly. This is not ideal conditions for casting, and you'll see what I was able to do with it. I was getting around, uh, give or take a couple of feet, around 85 feet out of an 11 foot switch rod while deep in water using a line that is not the best distance solution. I really do think that with a rage head, uh, this will get me a good hundred feet and uh, since uh, the river comes down to the point where I can get to some of my usual spots uh, I'll get out there with it with the rage head and see if I can get some you know that hundred foot is achievable now think about that hundred foot out of a switch rod I mean spay casting that's unreal uh, some other characteristics of the rod very light and that's characteristic of the NRX plus and the older NRX uh, highly responsive, very smooth progressive bend to it, so the more you load it, the deeper it goes, the further it goes. Uh, very, very um, easy casting rod, no fussiness to it at all. You did really, I didn't have to do anything to my casting stroke to make it work, I just went out there and off it would go. Very little casting effort to it, uh, low, very low swing weight. It had a lot of good things going for it. And I usually am critical of the average switch rod of not being able to cover distance without putting a ton of effort into it. And here we are with a 11 foot 8 weight switch rod that can really chuck a lot of line. So let's go have a look at some of that footage. Okay, I'm out in the Grand River with the NRX 8 weight uh, switch rod. And you can see how much running line I'm managing here. It gives you an idea of how far these casts are going. Uh, and I'm waist deep in water while I'm doing this. This is simply just a double spay and uh, off it goes. I'm using the Airflow Scout line uh, with the 10 foot tip. And though this is a great line, it's not really a distance solution. It's not the type of thing I would normally want to use if I'm casting far. So looking at the amount of running line I'm managing, I'm probably casting in the neighborhood of 85 feet uh, with this rig. And that's considerable considering it's an 11 foot switch rod and I'm waist deep in water. So it, it shows you that this rod is capable of some significant distance. Uh, that one came up hard against the reel. Uh, there was more in that one. So, uh, you know, you shouldn't be bashful about using this in a bigger water situation. I've seen plenty of switch rods that won't handle the big water, they just can't cast far enough. But this is certainly one that can do the job if you need to. So if you showed up on a big river with this rod, it would certainly not embarrass you, that's for sure. Here's my last one. And off it goes. Boom. No problem at all. Okay, you can see what I was doing there. You can see I had a, over 50 foot of running line off the reel. And plus, uh, I don't know, that, that head is about 19 foot long. Plus, uh, I had a 10 foot tip, plus about 70 foot a liter. Uh, you can see what it was doing. I'm shooting the whole thing out there. 
So it, it will deliver tremendous distance, and I wasn't working hard. You can tell I'm not grunting and groaning when I'm doing that. I'm just making the cast and away it goes. So this thing has tremendous potential, and uh, I will be checking it out more closely as soon as the river gets reasonable and I can actually go fishing <laughs> again. We're getting another 50 millimeters of rain coming. Uh, it'll arrive overnight. That's going to blow the river one more time. I mean, as soon as it starts to come down, boom, up it goes again. Anyway, what can you do? Uh, it is what it is. I'll get out there sooner or later, hopefully <laughs> sooner rather than later, and we'll get a chance to fish it under more ideal conditions with a, a, a line that uh, is more suitable for distance, and we'll see what we can do. In the meantime, if you're looking for a switch rod that can really, really deliver some distance, yet will work in tight when you have to cast with very limited space, you're not going to do much better, really. Cheers.